Shalom, Shalom, Aqua, the Yasharala. I want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being our Heavenly Father by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And I just want to bring out the scripture because I know, sisters, if you're going out to camp, you know, you see it daily, you see it all the time, scoffers in the camp, you know. Well, sc not scoffers in the camp. I would rather say there's no scoffers in your camp. But, you know, scoffers coming up to the brothers teaching and stuff like that. And stuff of, like, you know, they just be scoffing and just trying to come at the brothers, you know, being Jake. But then again, there's some of us who have scoffers at home, whether it's your uh, your mom, your dad, your brothers and sisters. It could even be your own husband if your husband's not in the truth. So, like, you know, some some of us sisters got to deal with that. But, <laughs> sorry. But, you know, like, it's all ordained by the Most High. Because not everybody's going to be able to get this truth. And you got to know that. Sorry. But you got to know that. The Most High just didn't put in their spirit to do it. But you got to know that you dealing with them. You have to be the bigger person in situations. It, like, you know, Jake or your family try to argue with you over little petty things. And try to tell you that you're wrong about the scriptures and stuff like that. You know, you should know not to go back and forth. Because some people are just not going to get it. You know, it says, paraphrasing the scriptures, you know, after you tell someone... I'm trying to think of what a scripture is, but, uh, you know, after the second attempt of you trying to tell the, you know, tell that person about the truth or whatever, like to just drop it because they're not going to get it. You shouldn't have to keep repeating yourself over and over again to a person that's not going to get it. You know, I mean, like you're wasting your time, paraphrasing another scripture, and, like you're giving your pearls to swine, like they're not going to get it. They're just you know, they're stuck in the world, they're wicked, and, you know, that's just their lot, but, you know, as it says, like, uh, in Jude 1 and 18, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own lust, these be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit, so... You know, these people are walking in their own godly lust. They don't want to keep the commandments. They want to keep being wicked in the world. Being Jake and Eve in the world. So, like... Like, the Most High, he, to he told you. He warned you about people like them. But us, as he said to us... I'm going to keep reading on. This is verse 20. But ye, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith... Praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of Yahweh, looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai unto eternal life. So although they're not going to get it, you know, it could be your mom, like, you know, the people close to you that you love, they're not, and they're not just going to get it. No matter how many times you bring it out to them, you tell them, they just, you know, shrug it off, but you got to keep praying for yourself and you know focusing on yourself because only at the end of the day only you can you know push yourself to do the works of the lord only you can show yourself approved to the lord you know the lord is not gonna you know go to your mom and ask your mom oh is this a good servant shall i bring it to the kingdom of heaven no he's not gonna do that he's gonna look at you and see what you've been doing have you been diligent in this truth have you been putting your time in him and focusing on him or have you been wasting time you know on worldly things trying to you know giving dang on pearls to swine <laughs> like they're just not going to get it like it's it's sometimes some things are just a waste of time and you got to know to not you know like to just sometimes you just have to let it go you know but You know, but then again, like, 
you just sometimes you have to separate yourselves from the worldly people sorry for that pause but sometimes you got to separate yourself from the worldly people and focus on you and it's true because at the end of the day only your works is going to show whether you make it to the kingdom or not whether the most high want to have compassion and mercy on us Abba us we're all keeping ourselves in the love of Yahweh Shai looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai unto eternal life like I'm pretty sure all of us ladies want to make it to the kingdom have eternal life and live and be in the same place where Yahweh Shai and his father is dwelling in like we don't want to be stuck in this captivity well I know me I don't but I would rather say everyone is you know wanting the same thing so with that shalom sorry about my dang on runny nose like allergies just kicking my butt right now but shalom ladies i hope this video was edifying to you ladies and i hope you guys keep enduring in spirit and shalom